Hey, uh, morning, scrappers. Yeah, I uh, brought a couple loads in yesterday. I uh, <coughs> was going to record, make a quick recording when I brought them in and forgot to, so I thought, well, I better get around to it this morning. I brought this John Deere in from a guy. He said it was throw kept throwing belts the other night. It's supposed to work, but I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'll tear into it, but uh, twenty horse, I think. We'll see what happens. Get in, and get the battery out of there, and any rat's nest or whatever. I mean, it's been sitting a while. The paint. Paint's all cracked on the deck and everything. It's coming off the side. But uh, if I can't get it going, I can use the tires and wheels on my little. This one's a 125. And uh, mine's a 110. Which, uh, see mine hiding there in the shed. Little D110. One thing I noticed was different was. Here you got a choke, or mine you just go all the way up for a choke. Parking brake's the same, mine's a little little bit bigger knob. I saw that had a knob over here, but I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess it locks. Probably locks the blade in or something, I don't know. I'll play with it and find out. Hydrostatic transmission. But I was kind of amazed the seat's still in good shape. So my seat's all tore up being out in the weather. So if I can't get it running and get it mowing, I'll part it out and put the seat on mine. Another one I picked up from the same guy was this Cub Cadet. He said same issue, so kept throwing belts. So I might play around with it. Had three or four of these out out in the field. I'm not sure, exactly sure what motor that is. It might be the Onan. Yeah, I see peanut butter came to join me. Yeah, you're probably hungry, aren't you? Yeah, you want me to put some food down for you? Yeah, I'll take you around here and show you what else I brought in. Working on that. That thing there it runs and everything. Uh, I think the deck for it's right here. I gotta get a belt for it. This top belt, it's pretty bad shape. It might last for a little bit. Yeah, I brought the one load in and just dropped the truck and trailer and grabbed the other truck and and headed back out. I got a little bit of this stuff sorted out and still have to finish unloading. Yeah, the second load I brought this whole car in. Got a bunch of junk inside. <coughs> Along with it, I got a refrigeration compressor, big old heavy thing. I picked up the, uh, the microwave came on the first load. And here's some of the other stuff that, I'll first look at two of these air conditioner units. Uh, a little bit of stuff up in there, some pipe, which I've unloaded a bunch of trampoline frame. Got an old bottle jack in there. Of course, the fans that go with it. Uh, got a scooter there. Looks like it's got a battery pack on the bottom. Got uh, two A-frame coils there. So. A couple bucks there. So it's definitely, yeah, let's get those compressors cut down and get the copper out of those. And then this is that big compressor that was in the car. I mean, there's my hand. Give you an idea how big that thing is. So it's pretty heavy. So, got plenty to do. I got to get my truck empty because I got to make another, another run. 
it seems like all these runs are way out there by Little Axe. That's about 50 miles out. About the extent of my range that I go. I try not to go much further than that. But uh, I think I got a washer dryer and a stove. So my plan is to put it on that little trailer, take that little trailer with me. Because I can get three appliances on there. And then uh, I got a few other odds and ends, but I'll put them put that in the truck. So that's going to be it for this, and I'll put this with another video. So hope you guys are having a good good day and staying safe, staying well. Got two of the cats out here now. So if you're enjoying the videos, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. And we'll catch you later. So, bye-bye. Hello, Scrappers. Back with another load. You can see i got a gas cook stove. The washer and dryer. I guess the dryer works, just needs the pigtail power cord. So the washer works when it wants to. Of course, i got an old satellite dish for direct TV and a little, little grill. He's a... Uh, Two AC units, he said, would work, which he didn't. When I when he called, he didn't even say anything about them. I think that was just kind of a spur of the moment while I was there. So, I think he said it was like 10,800 BTU. So I'm gonna set those down properly on a pallet and give it a few days, and then plug them in and see see if they do work and how good they go. I'm thinking my daughter just has a five or six thousand BTU in her room, so and she's trying to cool about 200 square feet, so may put one of these in there. Then over here, I got a hot water tank and a couple of grills. This one is about as long as the bed, six foot. So I got the front of the air conditioners down there. There's a vent hood, so that's 10. Might be a little motor in that thing. A lot of those have fans, a little motor. Probably about, if you can see it down in there, about, probably around 30, 40 lawnmower blades. And a few uh, struts off of a car. So I'll go through these grills and see if they got the, uh, the little brass fittings. That one can't hardly tell but there's not much in a barbecue grill you got the regulator which is aluminum a little bit of brass and they'll go down the field I got to get my two-wheeler off the top and try to dig the ramp out and then I'll get all this unloaded so uh, that's probably about it for this load it was mainly the appliances and these grills that grill handle might be worth hanging onto that door handle there. Looks like it's propane on one end and charcoal here at the other. I've been seeing a few of those. It's that time of the year we pick these things up. Got a little bottle opener here, but I don't know how often to use a bottle opener anymore. Well, thanks for watching anyway, and uh, try to keep bringing you these exciting videos of my scrapping adventures. I don't know if anybody, if you guys have ever noticed this or not. Oklahoma, the road construction state. It's a decal I made oh, a couple years back. Well, it's probably my chore for the next hour or so, getting this unloaded. I was, spent an hour and a half last night unloading and sorting. Get those, you get a little better look at those units. I, brought in yesterday which one fell off the pallet so I'll probably have to just have one per pallet I don't know if that one still has the fan inside looks like it might I, mean, I got two fans right there and the coil's got electric cook stove here and they tear down so I got a bit to do grass starting to get tall so I need to get out here and do some mowing too so I might put that finish putting that craftsman together and just hold off on that belt right now just go ahead and throw the belt on there because apparently it was working when he parked it but I don't know how long ago that was 
because that's that's the one they said the motor locked up on it which i found out it wasn't really the motor get out here and get this unloaded and do some mowing this afternoon and tomorrow i'll probably yeah, tomorrow i probably need to get those uh compressor or those statters cleaned up out that i cut out of those compressors and maybe do a video on that of course that video will probably go up before this one that i'm recording right now does so that probably won't make sense anyway it's a beautiful day out here it's about 80 degrees and yeah, i gotta take these apart and cut all the copper ends off of them I've got a bunch of them stacked in the semi trailer I'm debating on whether I want to leave them in there or I got a pickup bed trailer down there I thought about just taking them all down there and stacking them in it the good place for them just pile them up in there and I can see what I got then uh, in a year or so from now see if I can't uh, get them sold get that scrap collector's license and haul them over the scales well thanks for watching i'm going to get off here it's getting long so you guys uh happy scrapping keep living the life and stay safe hopefully this virus will be over soon scrap prices will go up hopefully but we'll see you later bye bye hello scrappers yeah this is a uh, part of the load I brought in yesterday got some pipe a little chain link a bunch of aluminum like window frames luckily they glad they took all the glass out that was nice of them and uh, about five of these little, little racks in and I thought you know I might get me some uh, one by six pressure treated decking and bunch of quarter 20 bolts or something and drill through that angle and make some nice little pallets that I can put air conditioner units or something like that on and easily move them around of course now these feet where the feet are I'll probably cut get some metal plate and cut some pads say I don't know three inch four inch, four inch and, and weld them on that way they when they don't sink into the ground on me but I had a little mishap yesterday and uh, got about well, I got into Blanchard and so I was coming up the hill I noticed the truck was running a little hot which I didn't notice before that and uh, got down to the light and the thing died on me looks like the doors open here yeah, of course, it stalled out right at the light and uh, had people honking at me. I'll uh, tell the story, I guess, as I walk over to where I got the, the trailer. People are honking. I had about a half gallon antifreeze in the back seat, so I got out and poured that into the reservoir. And the motor sucked that in. And after, oh, two, three lights, I guess it was, a truck started up. I got about a quarter mile down the road. And it died, but I was able to coast into a little turnoff area where there's a side street and it had kind of a, a wide area, wide shoulder that was paved. So I pulled in there, called the wife. Her and the daughter came out. And uh, brought three jugs of water, put that in there. It was nice and cooled off. Or put, put a gallon in the reservoir. Didn't hardly suck any in, but then it wouldn't really crank it just kind of clicked hard and didn't get it where it crank a little bit you know trying to jump it but not didn't do much and uh, went to Walmart got another battery put it in there same thing so then I had to call a friend of mine has a half ton he came over put the two sit two and uh, five sixteenths ball on his truck and then we got the car hauler hooked up got the car hauler over here now but pulled that one ton up on it the back tires just barely got on there the thing so long and that's an 18 foot trailer but I told me he wouldn't get over 35 38 miles an hour that's about what he did and 
I, I followed him up there in my Colorado. So, used the Colorado to pull the 16 foot trailer home, which I kept at about 40. You see that thing sitting pretty low to the ground. So, I'm gonna have to jack, jack the tongue up just where I can flip the, the tongue jack down. So, but I picked up this shed and I was catching a lot of air. That's could be part of what overheated it because really I don't have that, I wouldn't say that much weight on it. Got side by side, that's pretty heavy. So I've got, yeah, that outside condenser unit, and then I got the furnace unit here, or, or, and then I got this old chest freezer, and the old chest freezer is supposed to work, and then I got a few uh, square tubing that's kind of bent. Yeah, I got five pieces of that. I might try to, if I had a big tarp, I could make some kind of covering. But uh, that's what I brought in, a little of the misfortune I had. I got my old farm jack here. That's what I'll be jacking this thing up with. It's pretty windy out here, and I don't like really recording much in the wind because it makes so much noise on the microphone. So I'm... Uh, I'm going to get off of here, keep this thing short, because I've got a few other videos to add this to. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.